Well, let's talk about TMNT 2003. Oh no, you are making a video. Such a jerk. What was that? I am Bob. Well, Bob, you look more like a crackhead. And second, what are you doing in my house? And third, who are you and what do you want? Where did you go, Bob? And second, seriously, where did he go? I went to ask some questions and all of a sudden he disappeared. I just went and checked around my house. But whoever that Bob fool is, you better come clean before I beat the crap out of him for breaking and entering. Cause, I mean, I am a pretty good fighter. Bring it, Bob! Seriously, though. Where'd he go? Computer, work on tracking him. And I'll do the TMNT 2003 video right now. Oh, I accidentally deleted a bit. But the bit was about the art style of the show. So instead, I'm going to put it here. The art style is awesome. It has a very grunge-like style, and I love it. The show, not only with the animation, it's really mature for a kid show. I mean, honestly, it is. I know this sounds crazy, but literally, one episode... The turtles, they deal with extreme death, like, there's one episode where pretty much everyone dies. It was in an alternate timeline, but still, we see them die, and it's pretty gruesome. I'm serious. Oh, and something else that happens in the show, there's long-term consequences that, that last throughout the story arc. Oh, and I forgot to mention, Leo gets stabbed in the chest, thrown through a window, get, get smashed into a truck, tank, Leo's the blue one in case you forgot. Anyway, I probably should go over the characters' personalities, it's just, this show, honestly, got very brutal for a kid's show. Anyway, the turtles' personalities are all threats. Wrath is very angry and violent, but not to an absurd extent. And Mikey, he's probably my favorite version of Mikey. No way, 2012 is my favorite version of Mikey. But he is still a really good Mikey, I mean. Oh, and something else this show done? The 2003 version, anyway. It, it, make me, it made me care about Donatello. Let's be honest. Even though I like Donatello in the 2012 and 80 series, but this is the only real show that made me like Donatello. Because Donatello was actually pretty cool. Oh, and Casey Jones was freaking awesome in this show as well. Anyway, the characters are all in check. That's all I have to say for characters. Oh wait, let's talk about Splinter. Splinter is also awesome in this show, especially Especially when he's talking about his soap operas. That's hilarious. Oh, and something else the show does at all. It has like these little segments before the episode that give little previews with the turtles giving you a somewhat narration of what's happening. And you that picks a really good cliffhanger part. And I honestly recommend all shows to do this because that little preview before the theme song played actually got me extremely interested in most episodes and made me want to stick around watching. So I recommend doing that for most shows. Anyway, this is a good show. Two hours later. Have you found anything out about Bob? Yes, apparently he is scientist. Man, I wonder what kind of scientist and if he'll cause any more trouble. Computer, check your wall center to see if Bob stole anything from inside the wall. I just checked. He stole something. He stole your security sensors for the wall. Which means that must be how he snuck in. Well, next time Bob shows up, he's gonna get a stern talking to and a beating.